Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. You already know what time it is. If you're new here, my name is Dimples. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Be a part of Diddy T Gang. And um, you guys, as you can tell by the title, what we're getting into. No, I'm not a smoker. No, I don't do drugs. But today is 420, and for the first time, for the first time, you guys, you guys are gonna be getting ready with me today. Um, and we'll be getting on the edible. Okay, so let's get into this. Get ready with me. Don't have all day. So if you see me looking down, you guys, I will be looking at the um questions because I wrote them down because I'm recording off my phone. So yeah, stay tuned, y'all. So what I'm gonna do, y'all? I'm going to take one first. If I can open it. Right. So y'all, these are. You can watch my previous videos. I'm gonna leave it up. The um, these are 500. It's 50 milligrams per gummy. So. Alrighty, you guys, so let's get into it. Um, I just used my Noxema to clear my face. Now for the fly primer. But we're gonna get into these questions, you guys. Um, if you see me looking down and I'm reading the questions because I wrote them down. And if you see me looking this way, it's because I'm looking in the mirror. Point blank, period. Um, so the first question is, where have you traveled to? Um, I've been to um, Houston before. Um, where else? Here in New York. And that's about it. I really, like, really haven't been any anywhere, like, for real. So... Yeah. When I posted these questions on my social media platform, mainly Instagram, um, you know, it's a lot of weirdos, a lot of weird people. And you know, the bots and all of that or whatever. Um they was asking crazy questions like this next question is frost eyes, like weird, weird. Weirdos, right? But um, we're gonna skip that because, like, let's be fun. Um, next question is, what are three goals you want to accomplish before 2023 is over? So I feel like for that question, I feel like let me put it in three goals. Um. I feel like I'm already in the process of doing one of them, which is being consistent on YouTube and creating more content um, on my social media platforms. And if I haven't said it already, y'all, if you are new here, follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below. And yeah, and the other ones, I don't know. Like, I'm really, I really don't want to, like, like, I've already put it out of, into the universe, you know. But it's y'all, like, I don't know. I'm the type of person I have to accomplish. I have to accomplish my goal first in order to speak on it. So, what language do you want to learn? So... A language I want to learn, what I think I know, like very little. Um, like if you speak it, I understand it just a little, and I can say little words is Spanish. But other than that, I would like to learn. Um, um, that's a good question. Um, um African. That's what um 
that's it on the language. All right. It says, what are your favorite designers? Mm, my favorite designer. Um, Chanel. I would say Chanel. Prada. My the next question is what? What's your favorite nail shape? My favorite nail shape would be um, the coffin. But lately, I've been wanting some square nails. You know the regular classic um, nails. But my favorite is the coffin shape. But I've just been wanting some square nails lately. I don't know what that, I don't know what that's about. All right, next question is: How do you feel about mental health in the youth? I feel like that's very important. That's what I feel like. I feel like mental health in the youth, especially because this generation that we coming up in, you know, the kids are moving fast. Um, like, it's just like, it's not like back in the day, not saying I'm old and nothing, but you know, I was raised by my grandmother, so. Um, like, today's generation is just like crucial. So I feel like mental health plays um, a big part in behavior in this generation. If we want to keep it all the way 100. Because um, if it's not right, you know, the mind, body, and soul is not right. I feel like we don't like to talk about it or mention this or discuss this. For what reason, I don't know. In our community, um, it's already like left. It's like a joke and it's frowned upon when somebody say, oh, you need therapy. Or, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to go to therapy and stuff like that. But in all reality, you know, everyone got tra um, trauma and, you know, and I just feel like going to therapy and having some type of counseling uh, would help for sure. Um, and the follow-up to that question was, do you feel social media causes misunderstandings and confusion? Most, absolutely. That's what social media is for. Like, social media is exactly, like, the name speaks for itself. Like, it, it's not, you don't, it's no, it don't take a rocket science. It's like, it is what it is. Social media is not somewhere where you feel in some type of way and you express yourself and you expect someone to console you or anything like that like no like social media is exactly what it's supposed to be for at least that's what i think it's for because like, the next question is have you ever hold to heal <laughs> y'all with these questions but absolutely not like when i was younger like the way I'm like right now that I'm I'm like grown, I'm being older, I'm more like sensitive and more like emotional now. Cause back then I was not like that. But um when I was younger in my teens, outside out the door, you know, I won't be caught up in feelings in my feels, how I am now as I get older. Like that's a something that I notice about myself. I'm way too emotional now, and I, I care a lot now, so. No. Well, you get it. Um, Do you ever think about going back to doing hair? No. No, I do not. And for those that don't know, um, I do hair. I do my own hair. I don't let nobody play in my head. I am very tender-headed. And I was, I've been doing hair since I was, I want to say 10, a very young age. Um, 
surrounded by my older siblings, my older sisters and cousins and being around them. I just gradually learned how to do hair. So I was, I've been doing hair for a long time. Laces, braids, plaits, twists, you know, all of that stuff with the weave and stuff like that. So, nah, I just don't have the patience anymore. Like, I don't have the patience for that. So, mm-mm, I ain't going back to doing hair. All right, is this the expert? Okay, so next question is, what's your insight about family? Now, that question, now, this can go one of two ways. Because everybody feel like just because we share the same blood, just because we're related, you my family. No. That don't mean that. That don't, that's not what it's given. Um, I feel like my insight on family is, you know that cliche saying what they used to say about women, women, you can't live with them and you can't live without them. That's the same thing. Only to a certain extent because you can live without them. <laughs> Look at me living, you know? But I just feel like, um, you damned if you do, damned if you don't, um, on family. I ain't got too much to say about that. You know, I have kids of my own. I got my own, created my own family, started my own family. So, um, that's all I gotta say about that. Not too much, man. Nah, not too much. Um, it says, what are some of your secretly accomplished goals this year already? Um, my stability and, um, Me being more consistent, my um, YouTube channel is growing. Um, and that's what I've been. That's what I've been working on. Um, oh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. So, what is your favorite movie right now? My favorite movie. I don't have a favorite movie right now. Um. I just Netflix to be chill and but my favorite um type of movie is like like my favorite type would be suspense and thriller like that's that's my thing so anything suspenseful anything um thriller um some I have to be in a certain type of mood to want to watch something that's romantic or um like a drama like I don't think that's like something mm -mm. but yeah anything suspense and anything thriller I'm tuning in I'm like tuning in for real so next question is what would you tell your younger self um Um, what would I tell my younger self is, mm, to never give up, don't, don't give up on your dreams, that's what I would tell my younger self. Um, I will also tell myself, you can't control, you can't stress over things you have no control over. That's what I was telling my younger self. Next question is, how do you feel about the power of manifestation? Um, how do I feel about that? The power of manifestation, it's real. I feel like, um, to each his own, y'all, to each his own. I feel like it is, very much so real. I feel like if um, yeah, I can't even think straight. I feel like what was the question? Oh, I feel like um, the power of manifestation is a very much real um it's a way of life i feel like 
and everybody should like it's common sense um whatever you put out into the world comes back which is karma it's like the same thing with manifesting whatever you put out into the world whatever your dreams are whatever you want to accomplish like any little thing whatever you your intentions and whatever you believe in it, it becomes a reality so yes that's how i feel about manifestation and that's just to break it down to you know those of you who are not into spirituality and are religious and all of that good stuff you know how they go that's a disclaimer you got time for none of that stuff but anyways next question is what color you feel looks best on you um what color i'd say um looks the best i say all colors but my favorite color is royal blue so i like to see like especially when i was younger i always wore plaits twists and even do my hair like in blue so i feel like blue and then i also feel like um ruby red a um a jet black Next question is, <laughs> yo, I'm gonna tell you, my sister gave me this question and it's like hilarious. So the next question is, is Chris Brown and Lady Gaga still two of your favorite artists? Um, Chris Brown, Chris Brown is still is. Um, Lady Gaga, not so much anymore like mm, not not no chris brown still is and it says why do you have why do you love them so much when i was younger i loved me some lady gaga i loved her music i loved the aesthetic i loved the look um um i was that i was the one like doing the choreography all of that stuff all her music videos and stuff no matter what time of day it was no matter that, so um i was young so i really didn't know like what i know now about you know lady gaga whatever but i was like more in love with the aesthetic and the songs, you know, this Lady Gaga got some good catchy songs. And her songs are like, like different moods. I just say, I bring that too high up. I think I, I think it's high, y'all. That came too far up. But yeah. Um, oh, and Chris Brown, I've been a fan since he came out. First came out. Um, he's the only one to me that make music that like his music like evolved with him like yes he's an RB sing I mean singer and stuff like that so you know you know how everybody be like oh this sounds the same to me every song he made even though it was slow even though it was like he was very versatile very very versatile and i just feel like um you know i'm a cancer so i'm very moody any type of mood i'm in like you is is rare that you find an artist to wear no matter if you happy sad um horny uh like feeling any type of way like to have music just for each and everything And I feel like he gives off um, with his worth, his work ethic gives off like dedication, ambition, and like Michael Jackson vibes, legendary vibes. Like who is doing that for real? Like who really, 
who no guy. No guy. So yeah, his music still to this day is the bomb. It's like yeah, man, I'm still a fan to this day. Now Lady Gaga, I haven't heard any music or um any like Anything after, um, I want to say Alejandro. Anything after that, I haven't heard her. Heard from her. Who is your favorite sibling? Of course, this is going to come from one of my siblings. And the answer to that is, I love everybody the same. <laughs> but now, um, when I was younger, I was around my brothers more than I was my sisters. And my sisters was older than me, like both, both my sisters. I'm the fifth child out of 12, so I had two older sisters they was like way older than me while they was 19 and like like up there in them ages i was like a kid kid for real so i couldn't like hang with them so i was always with my brothers one of my brothers in particular which was um Giselle. but um and many and duke for most part for wasn't with them all the time like that. For the most part, I think. But yeah, those three was the ones I was around. But like in those times, my brother didn't feel like it. But now, um, I ain't got no favorites. Too many of them, because my mom is 12 and my dad is nine. Everybody getting the same energy, pieces, everything for me. Like I love everybody the same. All right, y'all. I'm just going to I'm going to use this bronzer just to put it in my eyes cuz I didn't put absolutely nothing there. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, next question is how is your mental? My mental is good. You know, I always, you know, take some me time out and my mental is great. I'm, I'm in a good I'm in a good space. I'm in a good place. I'm in a good space. My mental's great, babe. Next question is, what is your biggest regret? I got so many. So many, so many. Um, it's a lot that I regret. And all of them were big, so. To me, all of them were big, so. Um, my biggest regret. What would my biggest regret be? Mm, that's a good question, y'all. That is a good question. My biggest regret, though. Um, I don't know. Mm. I'm going to have to come back to that one, y'all. Now y'all is getting too deep and y'all asking me all these questions and like it's making me think. I gotta think and I can't think right now. Not like this. Not like this. But um next question is what is something that you miss? I miss the good old days. Like my upbringing as a kid. I, I miss that. I miss those days because I got a big family, family reunions, everybody coming to our house every day, every night. Um, it don't even have to be no family gathering. Like, everybody just be coming just to post up because it's grandma's house. Like, I just miss, I miss that. That's something that I miss the most. I miss my grandmother a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. 
so yeah um you guys these this is gonna be um i'll do a part two with y'all this is just part one there's a lot of more questions that needs to be answered but i'm trying to um but i'm trying to you know it's just phase so what i'm gonna do is i am if you want to see part two to this video i'm not done yet um stay tuned so i'm gonna finish my face and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna close out this video Y'all already know the routine. I'm gonna drunk for a little bit. I mean, get a little tacky. Go in with my wet my damp beauty blender and run this baby out. I gotta put my lash on to my lip, and I'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, you guys. This is the finished look. Um, it's a two piece. I'll share some pictures with y'all. Um, but this is the finished look, you guys. Mm -hmm. if you like this video leave a like down below and a comment below you guys it's 420 you already know what it is and for part two you guys stay tuned okay stay tuned baby bye you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.